Hello, everybody. My name is Buzzer, and you've just joined the Bedbug Bible Gang. We are the bedbugs, and we like to fly and float and dance and sing. We thank the Lord for everything. We have six legs and we have wings. We are the bedbugs, and we like to zip and zoom and say our prayers. We like to climb a lot of stairs. We have antenna in our hair. We are the bedbugs, and we like to tell you stories from the Bible. We are the bedbugs, and we can't wait to tell you stories from the Bible. One, two, three. We are the bedbugs, and we like to pray and praise and eat meringue. Like the song we sang, you're in the bed of Bible gang, gang, ding, 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 ding. And if you liked that, then you're sure to love this. The, the Parable of the Sower. Oh, goody. I love to sew. I also like needlepoint and macrame. No, not that kind of sewing. This sowing means planting seeds. Oh, well, why didn't you say so? I did say so. A sower sowed some seeds one day. That means the seeds were thrown. They scattered almost everywhere to places they'd been sown. I'm a little confused. He's planting seeds, silly. Some of the seeds the sower threw fell right along the road. The birds flew down and ate those seeds. Superbly done, they crowed. Those poor little seeds. Wait till you see what happens next. Some seeds fell on the rocky ground. At first, it seemed quite fun. But they did not have healthy roots. They fizzled in the sun. Phew! That's hot! Some seeds fell in among the thorns. They grew a day or two. But thorns can poke and stick and choke. The seedlings soon were through. Those poor seeds! They aren't growing anywhere! Wait! There are more seeds over here! The seed that fell on healthy soil grew taller right away. It grew to be as tall as you, and taller still each day. Hooray for the seeds! But what does it all mean? Just listen, and Jesus will tell us. A seed that falls along the road ignores the Lord above. A seed that falls in rocky soil forgets about God's love. A seed that falls among the thorns has better things to do. A good seed listens close to God. What kind of seed are you? I'm a good seed! I'm a good seed! That's funny, you look like a beetle to me. Whoever listens to God is a good seed. That was a super seed story, and it reminds me of a super seed song. Maybe you would like to sing it along with me. The farmer sows the seed, the farmer sows the seed. Hi ho, the seed will grow, the farmer sows the seed. The seed hears the word, the seed hears the word. Hi ho, the seed will grow, the seed hears the word. The word helps it grow, the word helps it grow. Hi ho, the seed will grow, the word helps it grow. We all grow for God, we all grow for God. Hi ho, the seed will grow, we all grow for God. The farmer sows the seed, the farmer sows the seed. Hi ho, the seed will grow, the farmer sows the seed. The seed hears the word, the seed hears the word. Hi ho, the seed will grow, the seed hears the word. The word helps it grow, the word helps it grow. Hi ho, the seed will grow, the word helps it grow. We all grow for God, we all grow for God. Hi ho, the seed will grow, we all grow for God. 
great job! I want to sing it again! You can sing the seed song anytime you like! <laughs> I like to sing while I sew! Look at these mixed up pictures. Can you help me match up each pair from the parable of the sower? We can start with this silly sower right here. Where is his match? That's right, the other sower is right here. Now point to the match for this big black bird. You've got it! Just a few more to go. Try to find the match for this thistly thorn. You're on a roll! Where is the match for this happy plant? Be careful, this one's tricky. That's it! You found all the matches. Way to go! That was super, gang! I couldn't have done it without you! Now here's a story about another person who went searching for something that was out of place. A shepherd had 100 sheep. He'd count each one, then fall asleep. Yeah, counting sheep makes me sleepy too. Each night, the counting went just fine. But once, there were just 99. Oh no, one of the sheep is missing. It's on the lamp. The shepherd grabbed his favorite hook. He left the sheep and went to look. He's leaving the other sheep behind. He had to find the missing one before the day and night were done. I bet that lost sheep is scared. Maybe so. The shepherd heard a sheepy sound. At last, the missing sheep was found. He brought it home that very day. The sheep was found. Hip, hip, hooray! Now you can help the shepherd find the missing sheep. There are five hidden in this picture. And one bed bug, too. <laughs> There's one sheep. Yep, there's another. <laughs> we found number three. Where? Oh, in the shepherd's beard. Good job. Only one left. <laughs> there it is. Five sheep in all. One, two, three, four, and five. Now, can you find that silly bed bug? <laughs> you got it! Five sheep and one bed bug. You did great! <laughs> that was fun, and you did a super job. I hope those sheep don't run off again. But if they do, it's good to know that the shepherd is always searching for them. Just like our good shepherd, Jesus, looks after us. And now I'm proud to present the Bedbug Bandoliers with their latest, greatest hit, Five Little Bedbugs. Nice title. I just got back the other day. For oh so long, I've been away. I climb upstairs just to rest my head And there are five little bed bugs in my bed Oh, five bed bugs Five bed bugs Where, oh, where I gonna rest my head Cause there are five little bed bugs in my bed The bed bugs there, but it's sleepy time So I jump right in that bed of mine The bed bugs sleep the bed bugs snore, and when I bounce on the bed now, they just four. Oh, four bed bugs. Four bed bugs. Where, oh, where I gonna raise my head? Cause there are four little bed bugs in my bed. 
now a bed bug small, just half my size. So I try and try just to close my eyes. I say, move over, you're crowding me. And when the bug rolls off now, they just tree. Oh, tree, bed bugs. Tree, bed bugs. Where, oh, where I gonna rest my head? Cause there are three little bed bugs in my bed. I say, good night. I say, sleep tight. I say, I hope you bed bugs do not bite. Cause if you bite me, then I bite you. The little bug got scared. Now they just two. Oh, two bed bugs. Two bed bugs. Where oh where I gonna rest my head Cause there are two little bed bugs in my bed I still can't sleep I cannot lay down Because the two bed bugs want to play around They say a pillow fight would be lots of fun And when the feathers clear Now they just want Oh one bed bug One bed bug where oh where I gonna raise my head Cause there is one little bed bug in my bed I say, little bed bug, you're on your own And you can sleep in my bed if you leave me alone I close my eyes and I sleep till dawn But while I snored away, the bug jumped back on Five bed bugs Five bed bugs where, oh, where I gonna raise my head? I got five little bed bugs in my bed. Oh, I got five little bed bugs in my bed. Oh, I got five little bed bugs in my bed. Well, where else would a bed bug go? Thank you, bed bug bandoliers, for that brief yet beautiful ballad. It gave me just enough time to get the other bed bugs organized for one more super poem. Whee! <laughs> now quiet down back there, bed bugs. You can see how excited they are to start the story. This is one of our favorite stories, and we're just buzzing to get going. Hey, what are you doing? Buzzing to get going, just like you said. <laughs> <laughs> right. So without further ado, the Bed Bug Bible Gang is happy to bring you The Good Samaritan. Would you like to hear a story with a puzzle at the end? Would you like to play a game to see if you can be a friend? Just listen to our story. In the end, you're sure to see that a friendly kind of friend can be the kindest friend to be. That is puzzling. It all began a year ago, around these very rocks. A man was walking by that day and whistled as he walked. But as you see, a gang of thugs lay waiting in the wings. They jumped the whistling wanderer and made off with his things. Oh, no! along the road, alone and out of luck. Unless somebody helped him soon, that traveler was stuck. Just then, he heard the pitter-pat of Prancing Pony's feet. A pious priest was passing by right down that very street. Hang in there, buddy. Help is on the way. The priest looked down and saw the man, half beaten on the ground. He didn't slow to help him, though. He simply slipped around. Wait, mister! Can't you see he needs a hand? An hour passed, or maybe two. We couldn't rightly say, before the man could hear another traveler pass that way. Bumpity bump, up on a hump, a Levite came at last. But though a Levite should be nice, that Levite bounced on past. That regal Levite left him lay. He lingered but to look. And once again, it seemed as though our hero's goose was cooked. I'll say, it's hot out there. And dusty, too. <coughs> and if you think that things look bad, they started looking worse. Just then, a sly Samaritan came riding on his horse. Samaritans are sneaky sorts. They slink around real slow. 
They stink and steal and smell like seals, as if you didn't know. At least that's what I've heard. But look, that nice Samaritan seems like he's slowing down. He's cleaning up his cuts and scrapes. He's taking him to town. Maybe Samaritans aren't that bad after all. The man is safe and warm in bed. He's feeling better too, because that dear Samaritan did what we all should do. So here's the riddle, Bedbug Gang. Pick one, or two, or three. What kind of friend's the kind of friend that you would like to be? Pick three, pick three! <laughs> Shh, you'll give it away. Sorry. I hope you liked our story. It's one of the bedbugs' favorites. Jesus told this story to show us how to be good friends. And a good friend is something that everyone can use. Sometimes a good friend can be someone you'd never expect. Someone like the Good Samaritan. In fact, a good friend can even be a bedbug. A bedbug? Ooh! Don't bedbugs bite? Sparky, you're a bedbug. <laughs> oh, yeah. Let's be friends. <laughs> you took the words right out of my mouth, Sparky. Thank you. Now you can sing a song about how to be a good friend. We'll help you learn it. That's what friends are for. Jesus said to be a friend, to be a friend, to be a friend. Jesus said to be a friend to everyone I meet. Like the good Samaritan, Samaritan, Samaritan. Like the good Samaritan who stopped along the street. Jesus is my special friend, my special friend, my special friend. Jesus is my special friend and will always be. Samaritan, Samaritan, Samaritan Like the good Samaritan Jesus cares for me Now everybody sing along! Jesus said to be a friend To be a friend, to be a friend Jesus said to be a friend To everyone I meet That was a great song. You can teach it to your friends. Can you tell what's missing from these pictures of the Good Samaritan story? Other than my beautiful smile? <laughs> How about this picture? Do you know what's missing? If you said that the donkey has no feet, you're right. Take a look at this priest. Can you tell what's missing? <laughs> His face is missing. <laughs> that was a silly one. Now look at this silly Levite. What's missing from the picture? <laughs> that crazy camel has no head. Okay, one more. What's missing in this picture? That's right. The man who needed help was not even in the picture. Good job.
that's all the time we have for today, gang. We hope you had fun, and we hope to see you again real soon. And always remember that Jesus loves you very much. Bye-bye! We are the Bed Bugs, and we like to fly and float and dance and sing. We thank the Lord for everything. We have six legs and we have wings. We are the Bed Bugs, and we like to zip and zoom and say our prayers. We like to climb a lot of stairs. We have antenna in our hair. We are the Bed Bugs, and we like to tell you stories from the Bible. We are the Bed Bugs, and we can't wait to tell you stories. And we like to pray and praise and eat meringue And if you like the song we sang You're in the Bed Bugs Bible Gang Gang Ding diddle ding 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 